December 3rd, 2023. And we're giving a garden update. My my uh, broccoli is very happy with this year's uh weather. I got broccoli growing in there. That broccoli is about seven, six and a half inches. Uh if not bigger. Let's see. It's about it's about uh six and a half inches wide. And it's growing in a grow bag. And I did a video a couple weeks on how I fill my grow bags. I was uh planting uh I believe I was planting I might have been planting these some of these broccolis. Uh I forget what I planted, but if you go back and you look at my video, previous video, probably was those three there I was doing or that one there. And I showed the soil I use and the compost I use black cow as my compost and the organic soil I use a potting mix those are peppers and that's parsley there there's some pineapple I'm hoping will take hold but it looks like it's just dying it's not going to do anything this one here still has some green left in it we'll see what's going to happen with that one but here, here goes some broccoli here with with garlic growing in it. All those all those are garlic. And actually, this broccoli here get, is get gotten big, even though it's sharing a bag with with cabbage. And we got cilantro. The cilantro is still growing. Uh, uh, um, oregano, oregano, and look at those broccoli heads over there. They're coming along too big old plants if I back off those the plants are, are not that small they're pretty decent sized broccoli plants so but you can see they're in grow bags I got more broccoli back there uh, they're just starting to hit but maybe I'll go this direction here go cabbage that I transplanted I started this from seed they're on their way purple hole peas I pulled all the purple hole peas up that was there I just left these I want to see what they do when we have a first freeze but right now it's they're flowering and we're in December so it is possible to grow purple hole peas in December uh, but every pink purple flower you see that's going to become a peanut a uh, uh, purple hole pea hole and there are I cut some out of here yesterday but they're they're actually growing look at that Look, look at that. They're actually growing purple holes. So, and and we've got a couple of cold snaps. It was uh, 30s, 40s, last couple of weeks. Well, I got to get out here and cut some of this cayenne pepper. Some of them turned to red and sneaking red on me. I didn't see that the other day. Um, that one, this one is ready to come out of there. I like to let them turn red. But sometimes they won't afterwards. But you see, it, the cayenne peppers are everywhere. And they're very happy. Look at all of those daggone cayenne peppers. By the way, tomatoes, I, I pulled the uh, tomatoes in December. Imagine that. I pulled up the um, purple hole peas that was in here. And look what popped up behind them. So I won't even have to see any tomatoes. But I believe this is that uh, those cherry... Them, super large cherry tomatoes and i got one right here all of this is cherry tomato and it's and it's starting to spread so i'm gonna have to get control of this and i know it's cherry tomatoes because there's some tomatoes down here growing where are they uh, look at that this cherry tomatoes right there see that some nice size cherry tomatoes that is that I mean they're huge. I, I guess they're cherry tomatoes. I'll be surprised if it's if it's a regular tomato because they're too small. But I had cherry tomatoes here, so I'm assuming that's what dropped. That's uh garlic over there that I started from garlic cloves out the store. This tomato plant can't come up. I mean they're coming up everywhere. I can just step on them. There's one there. Against the fence over here, there's three of them. I'm a weed around all this later today. 
so some of this moisture get out of these bushes. There's there's a tomato plant there. There's one, two, three there. They're everywhere. There's one there. There's one back there against the fence. There's two there. There's one there. There's another one. They're just they're just everywhere. And back here, right there. I tell you, I'm I'm, I'm gonna let them grow and see how they work out. I want to see when we get our first freeze, which is around the the second week of December, whether they'll survive that. They came up in the cold, so uh, they'll probably do okay. So moving on around, I got another. It's, it's shaded back here, so it's going to be hard to see. But look at that parsley bush. I need to cut some of that. It's got it's, it's grown huge. It's in a grow bag, but they're grown huge. I'm going to cut some and put them, uh, dry them out, and, and make seasoning. <clears throat> That's cayenne peppers again. That's another plant. The spinach right here is growing, still in December. And this is a red Russian kale. And we had that for uh, Thanksgiving. It was delicious. Delicious. This is still growing happy too. I, I don't eat too many mashed potatoes, but you know that goes. This goes in mashed potatoes, and uh, it's Bonnie's chives. Here's some spinach that I made it made its home in there. The spinach just pops up everywhere. Even the basil is still growing in December. They don't look as pretty as they do when it's warm, but they're still growing. Basil still growing. That's all red Russian kale. Uh, back here, I got jalapenos. I had a bunch of them grown, but I had somebody uh, cut a couple last week. They wanted to take them, so I let them take them. But there's one growing there. There's one. There's probably two or three coming there. This plant back here, I believe, has some hidden. There's one. There's a couple under there. Oh, there's a long one there. Look at that. There's two of them. There's two long ones there. So they're, they're growing. And then, of course, all this is broccoli. And it don't look like the head over there. But they're, gonna, they're starting to form heads. Yeah. And I got my chard here. My Swiss chard. My orange Swiss chard is better than lettuce. It's better than lettuce. That's why I eat my salad now. It's, it's healthy. It's good for you. All right. Let me go back around this way. As you see, everything seemed to be happy out here with the cool of weather. Everything is happy. Look at all these. These explosive red hot peppers. They're orange and red. You let them turn red or orange and they make a good hot sauce, though. Look at the look at the purple. I love the purple, the purple vines, red Russian kale. As you see, we've uh, cropped some of it. This here, what I'm stepping on and breaking, it's a. Uh, uh, I always forget the name of this stupid thing. Um, it's an onion and garlic mix, and every time I video, I forget the name of. It. As soon as I stop videoing, I remember it. Leak. It's a leak. There's a tomato coming up right there. This is a cabbage I, I, I planted. Not sure what that's going to be. Might be a tomato too. Also planted uh, some, so that's backwards. I planted some romaine lettuce here. Seed, I put some seed here. Actually, there's some, they're coming up. Look at that. See them? They're actually coming up. Those came up. So I'm going to have to get rid of this big old leaf so they can get some sun. I'm gonna cut, go go get something to cut this that thing right there. But there, I actually got some come up. Look at that. So I actually planted here, here, and here in this bed. So that's why the bed is empty. I'm leaving space for them. And then if the, when these get going, 
they're going to be huge. So I'm leaving space for them too. They might even touch each other. And then there's two here cabbages. And right there, that looks like a tomato also. This is some uh, thyme here. Is mint thyme, lemon thyme. It smells like lemon too. I, it smells like lemon all the way back here. Here's my grapevine. It ought to give me some grapes this year. Yeah, it ought to give me some grapes this year. Look at the vine. The vine looks, that's a strong vine there. Look at that. Doesn't even budge. So it ought to give me some grapes this year. Strawberry plant never, never produced anything. There's the broccoli over there again. Okay, this is, uh, I planted um, garlic in this also, and they don't seem to be doing that well. That's one there. That's one. That's the only one that seems like it's trying to do something. The rest of them ain't doing nothing. Actually, this one, for all them different green leaves, that lets me know this one is is coming along. And then right here, all them tops are cut because we use it. This is a, a green onion. And I had brought a bag of green onions from the store and I used what I wanted to use and then I took the rest and put it in the ground. That way I can keep using it. I don't gotta keep running back and forth to the store. You know, once you buy something, if you buy it organic, you can just put it, put, grow it. Whatever you don't use, grow it. All that's bell peppers. And we cut bunches, bunches of bell peppers off of that. Uh, here's three of them here all in a bunch on the way. All the big ones we cut. Again, I had a visitor a couple of weeks ago, and they cut all cut all the big ones. But every white thing you see, it's going to be a bell pepper. So more are coming. They grow. And they like growing in December, apparently, too. Because, I mean, I see more bell peppers than I do during the year. There's one there. And the red peppers seem to grow too during this time of year. Look at that. Little bell peppers there. They're everywhere. They're stuck in there. Some more red Russian kale. Red, eating red Russian kale is like taking a multivitamin. They, they, it's so many benefits. Uh, it has so many vitamins and, and minerals and it don't make no sense. There's my collards. They're looking beautiful. We made, we, 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 uh, Got a bunch of picked a bunch of this for Thanksgiving too. That's that's why you see the stalks down there. They've been cropped. That's what the stalk look like when you crop it. You pick it close to the stalk. I got some red bell peppers here, and this bell pepper plant. These plants didn't do nothing for a long time. As soon as it got cold, they start growing. So let me get around there so you can see that. They got, I'm waiting on them to turn red. Once you pick them, they won't turn red off the vine. But look at that. Nice size. Nice size. And this this is the other one over here. It got plenty of them coming. Just see them everywhere. Little ones, big ones. There's some around. This one that turned red. Look at that. Let's, let me come around here. Looks like it's trying to turn red. Yes, it is. Look at that. There's one turning red right there. So if I pick that one, it should continue turning red. Yep. That's my first red bell pepper. Not first, but the one I seen turn red. So here goes uh, art, art, artwork broccoli. And as you see, it's plenty of florets. I'm going to pick them today because you don't want them to do start doing this here, turning flowers. Because then it's supposed to affect the taste. So I'll be cutting them today. Here goes some more uh, garlic. I got garlic planted everywhere. I don't know what that is. But I'll get that out of there. That's This is garlic. That's garlic. Here goes another. Um, collard greens. Collard greens. Here goes somehow this plant got down here. <laughs> That's a, a tomato plant. Looks like it's happy. Looks like the ants and made a farm over here on my on my uh leaves for my broccoli. I mean my cabbage. This is a cabbage plant. Look at them coming out. I'm about to get rid of them. 
but all of that's cabbage. Some of, I, I I put all seeds in the ground and I tried to um, part out the seeds so it's room for each one. But uh, these things are growing huge, so they're gonna crowd each other. But it's one, two, three, four right there together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 it's about 14 cabbage here cabbages in there here's a uh, basil plant that was here throughout the whole summer it looked like it's trying to come back to life look at the green and the in the in the, uh, in the bark looking color so i'm glad i didn't snatch it up because this just shot up those it, it, it looked at all like wood right here and so that green just shot up so now i know i had one right here i didn't I should have left it alone, but see it? I, I snipped it down. I should have left it alone. It looked like it's coming back. Again, I buy, I buy if I buy something I would use and I don't use it all, I'm planting the rest as long as it's organic. So if you look right here, this is a uh, celery. And it didn't have nowhere, nowhere as many as these leaves when I put it in. It actually seemed like it was going to die, but I gave it a chance. And so now I'm growing celery from store-bought celery. And I ain't got to go buy no more. I use what I got once, it's, once it get going. Here goes some more cabbage. No, this is a... Uh, that's going to be uh, broccoli, and that's going to be broccoli. That's that's uh, my, one of my trap plants. Spinach. That's a leek. And somehow, tomatoes, if you notice, tomato plants are everywhere. Uh -oh. Tomato plant. And then cabbage, cabbage. Marigolds. They seem to like the growing in December also. Over, here, over there, that's uh, cucumbers. And they're, they're actually growing. Look at that. And it's December. They've been the size, I, I'll say, for... They started looking like this in November, around Thanksgiving. So they haven't grown like they normally would grow, but it's not dead. There's another tomato plant. And there, that is... Um, that's going to be broccoli there. Cabbage. This here look like collard greens. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. I thought it. I thought it was cabbage. Maybe it's it's, it's, it's some cabbage I had grew out. I forgot the name of it, but I could that looked like broccoli or that looked like um. They don't look like no cabbage. We'll see. When it get bigger, it'll tell me. There's some more tomato plants. None of them tomato plants I planted. They just popped up. Crazy, right? So there you have it. That's the update. So you can see what you can grow. You can still grow peppers, you grow broccoli, you, you can blow, grow oregano, you can blow, grow uh, garlic, you can grow cilantro, you can grow chives, you can grow uh, green collard greens, you can grow purple hull peas, you can grow cayenne peppers. Uh, what else we got out here? You can go grow parsley, you can grow green onions. Um, spinach, basil still growing, chard is still growing in December, and I hope I didn't miss, oh, bell peppers and red peppers, so you can grow a lot of stuff to keep you from having to purchase this stuff in the supermarket, and tomatoes, we're going to see, I'm waiting on that first freeze to see if they'll just disappear, by the way, in this pot right here, it was a uh, that that's from a a garlic clove, clove that was that had already rooted. So I went ahead and stuck it in the pot. And I'll make another garlic clove out of it once it start rooting. Yep. But there you go. That's the garden update for December 2023. I give you a new garden update after our first frost or freeze, and, and we'll see what makes it. All the stuff in the grow bags. If we get a good freeze that's going to last a couple of days, all that stuff is going to take all that stuff and put it in the garage.
and give it a, a I got a, a a grow lamp that I'll you know so last year the gar the, the broccoli did not survive the freezes we had the cabbage did and the greens did but the broccoli did not so I will be using grow bags from here on out and I like the way they grow in the grow bag because all these were planted the same time as those back there and these by far look good okay thanks for watching god bless like and subscribe see you next time